So, hello and good day everyone. Let's go and see if we can... Oh, hello. Um, this is not right. I would expect the game to actually be captured by Streamlabs. Hello? Yes, I can, I can hear sound. Okay, let's game capture. Maybe, maybe I've done a thing. Kept you on any full screen, maybe? No. Nah. That's really not liking that capture. Well, that's fine. We, we, we can work with that. I can just say capture any full screen application because we have one right there. Correct. No, we do not. Like, what the? Yeah, okay. So, this is unfortunate. Um, I'm not entirely sure if my OBS slash Streamlabs is... No, no, there we go. Ha, ha, ha. Yes. Thank you. Now, I would like to change this game capture back to auto, please. And yes, we are good to go. So, hello everyone. <clears throat> hello everyone. Welcome back to Sneaky Tea for Tuesdays slash Thursdays. Um, we're going to do a double episode possibly today. I don't know yet. We'll see. Um, point is, welcome back. We are loading up the main menu at the moment. And then we are going to go straight back into the storyline. Yes, there we go. Continue. Good. And so I'm, I'm hoping against all hope uh, if I was to go and check the stream for a second. And I am back here, so yeah, I'm just trying to see on my wife's computer what it looks like. Um, it looks like we have a total 10 full 80 stream, which is good. So we, we, we have upgrade opportunities here. However, I feel like um, I want to hold on to material. Well, let's see. What is the requirements here to do upgrades? Um, if we done an upgrade, we would get more health. Is, is that right? No, I think that's from a rune. Yeah, 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 that's from a rune. So what is the... So it would give me more resistance, more evasion. So yeah, you do get... And it's 10 of those... I, I take it as I, I couldn't even tell you it's I think leather and something else um, but we have plenty of resources so we could do the thing like 20 and 50 again doesn't seem too bad I'm gonna try and just do sort of a maximum effort upgrade here on the vital parts of our anatomy um Yeah, it seems like we can get away with at least, like, armoring up a bit more. Because it gives us two points extra each, which is, you know... Certainly something we can do with, because it helps us, you know, evasion, it helps us, you know, in defense as well. So what's the... 
It was a bit more expensive, but we, we have the resources, literally. So yeah, this seems fine to me. I'll do the same with the axe. Because, yeah, I, I like this um, loadout at the moment. I mean, if you if you look at it, we've still got plenty of materials. Like, also, oh, this is leather and iron ore. And we have got plenty. That even if we were to completely replace our kit, yeah, we still have plenty available. Nice. So, we are in Grand Bridge. And uh, I'm sure there's plenty of quests to do. Um, the markets are up and running again. Soma doesn't waste time. Yeah, we've made that happen last episode. Right? And I, I like the fact that it really becomes a lot more lively. People are walking about. You see kids walking about. This is... this is I like this. This is nice. Um, anyways, let's have a look at our quests. Um, what is my power? Uh, just out of curiosity. Oh, okay, 27 power. Nice. So, we, we can do a few things here. Birna, leave in Galen. Um, then we've got a few things to do in our actual settlement, which is Raventhorpe. Um, settlement 3 and 4. Find and kill the members of the Order. Um, find all codex pages that seems like a collect quest and then yeah this is way beyond us I think we're sort of going back to this main well, well this story quest um, I feel like so chapter there was something chapter 3 maybe what find and kill the members of the order and so this is the members of the order and like, there's so many like how so assassinate the scout mark the target see what happens on the map did we let's have a look on the world map oh gosh so many icons uh, I, 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 I okay so I think that right there is our 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 quarry i think that's what they call it um right to the east of Utbeck. we are however we we're over here i think so let's have a maybe closer look at so these are pictures by other players and you know as much as i appreciate the effort we have got other things to do What's happening here? There's a daily concept art. I feel like maybe we should just. Yeah. You know what? That's exactly what we're doing. We're gonna get a better overview of what we're actually facing. Let's let's go and have a look. It's about 2k away. Here, Wolfie with horse hoofs. Like I I I I I I I honestly would believe. What do you mean, quest? Get um, go to your map mark. That's exactly where I want to go. Let's let's go maybe straight ahead. We're gonna just try and follow the map marker and all, right? We're gonna just try it. Yeah, yeah. Get. I've got a big wolf to ride on. Right. This to me sounds like the movement of a horse. Although that right there, that's a clip clop of hoofs. I swear to fuck guys. That's just wrong, like Ooh. wait, 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 wait. Stop. Stop. Oh, I thought we killed him, actually, but... 
no actually just go and dismount we're going going yeah no i'm not gonna go and hunt him actually there's no need here wolfie Yeah, yeah, I know. Um, we're gonna go and follow the road, see what happens. So it does have a road to follow now. Awesome. Yeah, we're gonna ignore that zealot. Um, I have no interest in dealing with him. Um, we're go I'm trying to get really just an overview on what we're looking at in terms of close by quests and that. Um, so, like, yeah, we, we we could just run through the story, but you know, it's only so much fun to be had with just blindly following quests and 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 watching cutscenes and that. No, let's let's explore the environment a bit. You know, I absolutely, I always love how Ubisoft manages to really capture the, the, the different sceneries. Like, so when I played Origins, for example, in Egypt, was it Origins? Yes, it was Origins. Um, Odyssey is the one in Greece. Um, so when I played Origins, you absolutely feel like you're in a dry desert and you're climbing the the pyramids. Whereas in Odyssey, yeah, you absolutely feel like you're in the Mediterranean areas. You you can almost smell the olive trees blooming. It is that well made. Oh, so, sorry, I, I ran over something. Oops. But mm. I love how it's really that immersive and it you you can tell if you've been to the area you know they've represented it well Ooh, lag spike that lag. i don't know um but it it is one of those things that i oh wow it's that's loading so we're wait what we're all the way back at raven's Ravensthorpe? Well, where the heck was I then? I must have been... I must have been over here somewhere. I, I, honestly, guys, I thought actually we were back at our settlement. Oh, well. <laughs> um, we've done a bit of travelling there. Well, that, that's fine too. Um, but even looking at the initial Assassin's Creed, the very first one, right in the Middle East, if you will, it really felt like you were in the area and, and I've always felt immersed. That is the one thing I will say about the... Can we go a bit faster, Wolfie? I, I feel we're a bit slower here. Right. Yeah, that's better. Um, it, it always tended to actually drag my imagination into the country of origin of the game and, and really inspired me. I love it. Because there is a few games that have this, yeah, they, they, they feel immersive, very generic. It, it could be anywhere on the world and it doesn't have any different feel. And there's very few games where I'm actually feeling like, yeah, like I know I've been there and guys, you've got it right. Um, so yeah, it's, it's really actually, it's one of the big things that always draws me back to the Assassin's Creed games. And I'll, I'll say that honestly. It is not the killing, it is not the maiming, it is not the whole conflict between Templars and Assassins. It is the thing of it, is, you know, the feel of being immersed in that particular history. Just, I don't know. It, 
and there's quite a few games from Ubisoft that I absolutely love being immersed in. Like another one is Steep, where it's it's all just snowboarding and and uh, skiing things like that. But it absolutely feels like you're in the Swiss and French Alps. So it is a squatter's note here. Last week it was laughter, songs, fires, and the smell of roast piglet. Days later I heard I hear nothing but the pitter patter of rabbits and the coy <coughs> That quietly please <laughs> <laughs> And the coy of crows who feed on the scraps. I see nothing but light smoke and burning embers. The army led by the sons of Ragnar is gone. Many would see this for what it is, an abandoned settlement left to ruin. But for a blacksmith, in this desolate landscape lies a hoard of treasure. I will gather the tools and weapons left behind and bring them to father. What is fair we will sell, what is broken we will melt. I hate the Danes for what they take, but love them for what they leave. Okay, so mixed sentiments about us. Uh, no, no, uh, wrong way around. Thank you. We're going here. Then we're going to do the whole synchronization. And then we're going to do my wife's favorite part. We're going to leap right off it. I'm sure she wants to see this. Not a chance. What do you mean, not a chance? Not a chance. It, it is on a, a little leap of faith. Like, can we not? I don't... Whee! Yeah, I was... Not a chance. Oh, it's just a bit of hay. You only survived that because that hay is quite thick. Well, actually, Mythbusters proved that you could not survive it. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so that, yeah, that guy's there is a whole episode actually of Mythbusters trying to prove or disprove this whole myth of yeah you're just gonna land in a haystack and you'll be fine. And the truth is like haystack, no. Bunch of hay bales, maybe. Like if you had enough of them, you might actually get away with it. Hundred and sixty meters. That's literally right here. What do you mean wealth tinkling? What did I miss? Something blinking there? Ooh. Nah, remember my credo guys? Always be looting. Cause that's how we were able to afford to just upgrade all the guns out. Oh, sorry, not guns. Weapons and armor. Um, and still have tons of resources left, but I feel, yeah, there is something that I've missed here. Is it not a 600 meters? Uh, birdie? No, uh, birdie? What do you see, Sunan? Yeah, that's my wolf. I, I know that. What? There is something there. I think. Or is that? No, that, that's not the note. Can't be. Because the note was to the right of that. No, no, it's right in there. Okay. It's either at the bottom. Let's have a look. I'm sure I've looted all this. Like, there is, there is nothing there. So let's go. It is not on this level either. Yeah, the, the basket is there's nothing there like so if there's not something to look you'll see a little white dot that actually tells you okay you can interact with it you can loot it or you can kill it or you know something of the sort uh, hello but Eivor it is a thank you Aver did not want to go up there for some reason. There, I, I seen that dot. Ah, 
Ah, ah, ah. Here. Loot. Loot. There's an opal and an empty box. I mean, thanks for the opal, but an empty box? Why? Why, pray tell? And just because it was fun, I'm going to do it again. Whee! Smoosh. <coughs> right. I was after this thing here. 100. <coughs> Let's see. Oh. Hey, keep your axe to yourself, just new. We may want to kill things, but just, just hold your horses. I mean, hold your axes, or, you know, all of that. Um, that was a graphic glitch if I've ever seen one. Oh, okay, no, so this is an animus thing. This is part of the simulation. Yeah, this is, a, this is an anomaly. Oh, it's Layla. Like, from present times. Okay. Are you seeing this? Yeah, it's weird. An anomaly of some kind. The rest of your simulation is frozen. I can see a loose data packet close by. I'll see if I could reach it. Okay, but take it slow. We don't know what this thing is. Yeah, this is all very weird. And then, you know, the, the usual parkouring that even though we are not an assassin, we can still do quite a few things to traverse the environment. Um, so interact with that. Must be stabilized by a light beam or they can be traversed. Oh, it'll be that guy, right? It's the only one that looks different. Yeah. So I imagine I can now go and do this thing. No. Ah. I like this Yeah. So. Okay, so we're gonna have to reconstruct quite a few blocks there. I can see that. So we're gonna take this protector straight away. And it seems logical. We're just gonna go and point it. don't know. I'm gonna try this guy. I'm gonna try him. And then I can go up. And use him to... Maybe point there just now. Yeah, I have a feeling I get what they're aiming at. So, we're gonna go and interact with him. Yeah, that's our first one here. And then, if I'm not mistaken, we can go up here again. And we're going to take this projector and point it at that guy. And then we're going to have to do the same thing up there. I, I just seen that there. Right, and then we can be able, we should be able to just jump over and, you know, do the whole pure thing. Up and up and up and up and up again. So, there's a projector there that is not on earth. I think actually we need to take a projector away here. Like, just give me a second here. Uh, okay, it's not, no, it's not what I thought it was, but, so we've got that guy there. Like, hmm, okay, this is a little bit, we, yeah, we can jump up here, so that's fine then, because I can go and point you there. Oh, this is a reflector. Right, 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 right. Okay, so simple optics. 
gonna go and take this beam guy and right point him there and then because of the angle we've set up yes perfect Okay, um, sorry, I was just listening to that, because this is honestly all new to me. Feels like a lot of this is already aligned. Um, see here. Over here. Uh... Okay, I can go over here. This part is easy enough, but hmm, because the minute I move that reflector, I could tell you right now I wouldn't be able to get back. There's nothing that is you know close enough to. Uh, okay, so it's not you. It's. Huh. Trying to understand how this puzzle is laid up because I can't get to that one. There's no way we can do that jump. Else. So it has to work through this reflector. But, oh, um, I think I know the solution here. I, I, I just bear with me. I think what we're going to do is we're going to point him there for now, right? Bear with me. Gotta go jump back because now we can take this reflector that's pointing sort of at this same block, right? We can actually go and point it at say beyond place there, right? And then we can actually go and. Yep, keep going back of that direction. Because now we don't need that platform anymore. Now I can go and take this and light it up to the original place. And then we can go right around. And now I can climb the whole thing. It's it's a puzzle. In on the data packet. I see it. It's encrypted, but nothing I can't handle. I got the data. Sending it now. That was a very short sequence. But it looks like there's more riddles here. And we're back to Eivor. But okay, we've we've done one of the anomalies, and you know these these have been mentioned. I think it was in episode two when we went back into Layla after the intro. Remember the three-hour thing of an intro. <laughs> um, so what else do we have? Um, did I get anything important? Anything interesting? Let's see in the bag. There's a collectible, the, the Rixogor, page 2. The tricking of Egor blade tongue. The winter's past and Rick grew mighty Berlin, a great warrior that fought in great battles along the northern way. He was often spilling raven wine, defending the family clan, yada 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 yada. Story time. Wait, okay, sorry. Um, people can read it now. I'll leave it here on the... And they can just pause it and they can read it. Good stuff. Um, quests. What else do we have? And this is Raven Top. So we're trying to help. Um, yeah. Let's try and. Well, we're gonna. Yeah. Okay, I haven't done myself any favors because this is one 
1.6k away and okay no yeah we'll be and then we're going to tell him to go to the follow road and quest objective nice so and then we'll like the cinematic camera even though their DOF or the depth of field perception is absolutely atrocious but it's all good anyways so basically yeah I, I have really no clue where the quest is going or where the storyline is going um and it would have probably helped to have finished origins and or odyssey <laughs> um because i can actually remember Layla being um staple of those games as well so i'm sure there's a whole lot of backstory that i've sort of missed um but you know we're here to find out and if i feel like no i'm missing too many bits then yeah i will go back to one of the other games and play them too Because, like, I honestly enjoy the Assassin's Creed games. Pretty much all of them. There, there, there was a few outliers where I'm a little bit um, humming and hawing with myself whether I think they're all that good. Um, but most of them I really, really enjoyed. Like, the first three were absolutely great. Then you had a few in-between games where, you know, they were okay. Then you had Black Flag, which, oh, yeah, that was... That was a that changed the game right there. Absolutely, like having the sea travel with you as well. That really sort of opened up the world, and then there was the whole thing of sea warfare. So really, very enjoyable. And then there was a bit of platforming as well. It was China Wars, I think it was called. Yeah. It was an alright game for a couple of hours in between, but nothing to really immerse yourself in. And then Odyssey and Origins came out, and I'm like, yeah. And this is what Assassin's Creed has always been about for me. You know, the immersion into these different histories and cultures. And, oh, that was my fault. Pressed the wrong button there. Um, and I can absolutely say, you know, that the last three games have absolutely delivered on that sort of... Well, I would almost call it an expectation, because really, for me, that is the staple of the game. The immersion in that history, the the culture that, you know, has been represented. Um, but yeah, so we're, we're not actually too far away now. We're about, okay, we're still 1k out, but let's see. Can, can we do the dangerous thing and just go straight for it? Ignore the roads and all that. Yeah, run it over a few foxes. Oh, wait, 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 resources. Oh. Always grab the resources. And I think that's them all. Yeah, it looks fine. And then we can go back into that direction. I feel like the roads may have actually just slowed us down there. Ah, I'm just going to ignore you. And am I going to just abandon Wolfie here? And we're going to do the disappear in the water. Cross this little river. And there's plenty of oxygen, so we'll be fine. And then I can do this thing. And yeah, you can actually traverse the environment fairly quickly in this game. If you sort of know what your capabilities are and, you know, the sort of animation um, loops that sometimes happen, you, you can do a lot in this. And as much as it is quite nice to look at the scenery for a while, um, what am I 
it is two different waypoints of at the same location, but we'll see what happens. I think we're <coughs> we I need your eyes, my friend. Okay, so there's a bunch of resources there. It looks like iron or something like that. And then further down looks is is where their camp is. Okay, cool. And since we know this now, we can go and take off here and dismount. And yeah, I, I did see the guys right there, but I also did see more resources. And I, I like me my loot. Right now we can go and talk to the guys. Let's see here. Yep, 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 yep. Hello. More cutscenes. Abel, I am honored you have joined us. What's your plan here? All the Shire support Soma's ruling the city. These hamlets do not. They're feeding and outfitting Wakeman's army. So we will burn their homes. Quick and devastating, like the thunderclaps of Thor. Uh, what do you think of the others? Yeah. Leif and Birna. Leif, he's a talented sailor, if a little enthusiastic. And Birna, well, Birna thinks of life as a grand joke. She was a smuggler when Soma pulled her from the muck, making a living on lies. Birna is part of my clan. And I will fight beside her, irreverent as she is. But she has no care for her destiny. Hmm. Okay, so... How did you come to be in Soma's clan? A vision from Evolva set me on this path. It pricked my mind like a splinter, then faded. But I wanted more. For months, years, I ate only henbane, mushrooms, sacred plants. Hoping to see something new. But my body dwindled. I lived addled. Maddened, a wanderer, taken in by Saxons and spat Dad. out again mm. and again until Soma found me, naked and alone in the fence. She clothed and cared for me, humbled as I was. I owe her my life. Okay, so... Visions can be strange and powerful. What did you see? I was climbing a mountain, a lion and a snake upon my back, weighing me down. I struggled, and Soma appeared, and she eased my burden. When we reached the peak, there was hardly enough room to stand. On a point like the tip of a blade, we teetered there, gripping one another tightly. I know it can seem distant, obsessed, but the gods are with us always. I see it as my duty to shelter Soma from their ire. Okay, I, I'll be honest, guys, there's a few words here that I didn't quite understand. You know, thank my German now heritage. Now let's rip but these hamlets of I, I feel like he's really got her back. So apparently we're going killing folk. Um, and I did say before that I sort of abandoned the idea of being sneaky in the first part of this game because a lot of the quests that we rely on are actually based on just... Tons and tons of people invading villages and, and raiding them. Leave no house unburned. This is what they get for helping Rand Grand Bridge from Soma. For licking uh, Yeah, so it's it's basically I'm I'm It's gone. And there's no point in being sneaky because it, there's too many guys around here. Be sneaky. You know, like there's too many of my own guys. Like if it was just me. Um, then that'd be maybe a different story, but really a lot of this is typical Viking raiding. Need to kill folk and make sure they're not ringing the bell, I think. A yeoman. Like, how on earth did he even... 
Yeah, let's go see. So what am I missing here? You guys to kill. I don't know if I'm supposed to burn every single piece here. Like, we'll, we'll try that. Okay, torch. <laughs> Let's end this. Yeah, I'm ending it for you. And then always be looting. And then... What's this? And then... Why? All right, okay, millstone. Yeah, yeah, I understand that part. Any loot here? Always be looting everything, thank you. Then there is something here. It's a pikeman, so we can just go and Ooh, he got skewered. So we're, we're still killing folk. You know, the typical raid and loot. Oh, someone's need my help? Oh, I'll help you, pal. Alright, don't worry about that guy. We'll just... And... Oh, wrong button. Do the revive thing, and then... Kill him. <laughs> Yeah, I'll revive you too, don't worry. See? I'll look after my folk. I mean, yeah, I may lead them into battle, but I may also revive them. If I want to. And then another torch going... Uh, burn that building. There is a building burning there. Ooh. Heavy attack, and then he gone. Oh, someone else needs to needs a revive, and then we're gonna go and just smash shields and decapitate people. Oh my goodness, that was a bit of a <laughs> it was slightly gruesome. And then you are also going now to die. There we go. Anything else? One missing and someone shouting. Ah, the smell of burning roof thatch and heady turf fire. Okay, so we we're basically just talking to the quest guy now, I think. Look at that. Now that was something. Wakeman is sure to take notice. You stamped and roared like a fiery suitor himself, marching through the flames of Muspelheim. <laughs> I'll see you back home, Drenga. So, okay, we've done one, and we've got another one. Uh, we've got either Leaf or Bjarna. Um. We'll try going there. How far? 1.2k. Okay, uh, let's see the other one just for shits and giggles. Um, there is another blue marker somewhere now, and it is only 600 meters away. Yeah. Wolfie! Follow road, go to quest objective, goodbye. Yeah, yeah, I don't care about you guys, we are riding. Because if I kept fighting everyone that I've seen, I, uh, I would be decimating all of England in no time at all. 
And I'm sure the last time that was tried, it didn't end well. I'm just saying. Okay, so I have a feeling that either there is a, what do I call it, uh, I think there may be something dead actually, by the amount of birds going there, oh, not everything is dead in that area, <laughs> okay, um, so that's Ravensburg, a good game company, like board games, um, you know, I feel like actually we have gone a little bit further. We're gonna go do a little bit more loot. Eh, ooh, more loot. Always more loot. Always, always. No, ow, 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 ow. Yeah. Ow, ow, ow. That hurt a bit. Let's go and. Once again, we need all the resources. And we're not going to go right there. Because what I'm going to do is, we're going to call it good. We are going to, let's see, save this, yes, and I'm going to call it, I'm going to call it good for today. I'm going to thank you all for watching. I'm going to thank you for liking up and subscribing, even if you didn't do it yet. But I'm sure you will. And until next time, peace out.